A big question that I get from a lot of new growers is which trio to get. Now, if you follow my guide, you'll notice that I have a Fox Farms feed schedule and I have a general hydroponics feed schedule. Now, these feed schedules were both optimized. I literally sat in and I calculated PPMs, NPKs. There's nothing in this that was an accident. Keep in mind, you need to factor in the base soil. So this is based on happy frog, okay? Going back to the question, which one is better? Now off the bat, Fox Farms is cheaper, but you're also getting less. So this is not part of the trio. I actually ended up getting a bigger bottle because what you'll notice when using the trio, you're always gonna end up using Big Bloom a lot more. But what is Big Bloom? This is the confusing thing. If you look at the bottle, it says it's made from earthworm castings and bat guano. And if you know top dresses, you know earthworm castings has a lot of nitrogen, but the MPK on this is 0.5.7, which is almost nothing. What I don't like about this product is that there's no guaranteed analysis that tells you what the trace elements are in this or if it has anything. Like, this looks like soil juice. The main problem is it doesn't work for hydro or anything that requires a pump because it'll clog it up. And similarly, if you use this in your dirt, eventually this fine silt that this is made of will start to clog the pathways for water in your soil. That's gonna lead to dry pockets, it's gonna lead to a lot of compaction. So off the bat, out of the Fox Farms trio, I would say Big Bloom, completely unnecessary, okay? Now Grow Big in the trio is one of my favorite nutrients. This is basically the first nutrient that I've ever used in my history of growing. And you can honestly get to week two of Bloom using exclusively this and CalMag. As a bunch of trace elements, magnesium, boron, copper, iron, manganese, zinc, but it does not have calcium, which Flora Micro has. And we'll get into that later. The problem with Tiger Bloom is this NPK. 284 is a terrible NPK and it's nowhere near the levels that I want. I usually want like a 253 at Bloom. So you're gonna have to mix this with Grow Big. As you start to raise Grow Big, you're gonna notice that you have a high level of N or you're gonna have an extremely high level of P and that's gonna throw off the whole entire balance. It's really hard for me to hit the levels that I want no matter what combination of Grow Big and Tiger Bloom you put in. You end up using this terrible Big Bloom combination right here in huge amounts to make up for that. I just feel like the ratio could have been better. They should have dropped down the P a little. They should have bumped up the K a little and that would have helped things out. But 284 just seems like it wasn't intended for broccoli. The other thing is both of these have magnesium included and you will require significant calcium supplementation unlike the Flora Trio. And this is another thing while we're doing this. I'm glad I did it on the fly, but for some reason, this has this hole right here. I don't know who designed this, but this starts to leak. So you see this piece of tape and you see how it leaked right there. Fox Forms, if you're watching this, please fix that. Now going to General Hydroponics Trio. I love Micro. Micro is top five nutrients that I've ever worked with because of everything that's included. It's high in N, so perfect for veg. 501 is the MPK. Doesn't have any phosphorus. Has calcium, boron, cobalt, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, which you'll notice that the Fox Farms trio does not have, and zinc. So all of these trace elements are the trace elements that the plant needs in very small amounts, and it has just the right levels where you're not gonna let the plants overdose. Because it has calcium, 
there is really no need to add CalMag. If you look at my chart, I actually do add a tiny bit, but not a lot at all. You know, it's just to give it that little slight extra um. Flora Grow, I would say is useless. Because it has an MPK of 216, I think the only time it's beneficial is when you're trying to bump up the Ks. This would go well with the Fox Farms Trio if you're looking for a K boost. But the better K boost, in my opinion, is going to be TPS's Signal, which also has Sulfur, which the Trio lacks. Yeah, you see, this one's leaking too. So both of y'all need to get your caps together. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I understand bottles aren't intended to be sideways, but if you topple one over and then you come back to a puddle, come on. You spend an extra two cents on a lid. I would say you don't even need it in this trio. So this is just like a waste of space. Flora Bloom, amazing product as well. It has a good NPK. Definitely need to use this with Micro in order to hit a little bit of N at Bloom, you know, and then you scale that back week by week. But the 5.4 is great. The main benefit why I like this over Tiger Bloom is because it has sulfur. Sulfur is a secondary element that's necessary in bloom in my opinion. There's a lot of strains that end up yellowing and that's due to sulfur deficiency. So if you're using the trio, I recommend using Epsom salt around the first week. So overall, when I'm comparing these trios, if I had to pick, I would definitely go General Hydroponics. I wouldn't get the grow though. I would just get these two, and with whatever money you save, get something like TPS's Silica or CalMag. And that's my honest opinion. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Use the links in the description if I convince you to buy it. And for the feed charts, check the top comment. Check out my site for more tutorials, my Discord if you got questions or comments, and my Patreon if you want to support.